hello guys and welcome back to my channel again i want to thank all my lovely subscribers for coming back and new subscribers you're very welcome thank you all and please pardon my crazy dog barking um okay today we're making a uh, orange oils and I want to tell you that orange oil is so high in vitamin C. In fact, the peel of the orange has more vitamin C content than the orange itself. And orange oil helps in fighting acne, controls oil on the face, reduces dark spots. It clear because of the high content of vitamin C. It reduces scars, even reduces uh, stretch marks fades by spots blemishes gradually and clears it and it has a high percentage of vitamin c that lightens the skin it lightens the skin so naturally and flawlessly it's anti-aging it improves blood circulation to the skin and reduces uh, reduces a uh, large pores on the face if you have oily skin that's why it controls oil on the face you can use orange oil for your cream, your serum, your scrubs, your face cream, your face serum, and a lot of things, the wide range of things you can use orange oils for. Mind you, this is an orange carrier oil, and uh, it's not an orange essential oil. I'll make a video teaching you guys how to make orange essential oil because that one is different and more concentrated than the orange carrier oil itself. All right. Now I'm going to be using a sunflower carrier oil and uh, I'm using it because sunflower oil is a non-comedogenic carrier oil which is very easily absorbed into the skin. It won't clog your pores, it won't irritate your skin and it's suitable for all skin type including dry skin, oily skin, acne prone skin. It contains antioxidants and antioxidants are vitamin E, which is very good for protecting the skin from free radicals, sun damages, premature aging and wrinkles. And um, it's uh, sunflower oil is also good for wound healing. And uh, it's, it's very great for all skin types, honestly. And I think I like sunflower oil as well as grapeseed oil but these two oils i like a lot and i think is best for any skin even children and baby skin as well so that's why i'm using sunflower oil for this demonstration right so guys kindly subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post amazing new videos and kindly please give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video and let's get straight right into it this is my orange oil that i made looking beautiful in all its glory the color the smell ah when i was done with it my whole kitchen had this fragrance of citrus like it's amazing and heavenly guys you have to try it here is my orange peel i wash them wash them about twice just to make sure they're clean and I spread them on my hand towel to strain the water from it and um, I'm going to put everything right into my blender and uh, blend it with the oil this is my sunflower oil and uh, I'm going to be needing about 500 ml actually I did put 500 ml and I realized I needed more so I put an extra 200 ml which has a total of a 700 ml sunflower oil and uh, blend everything together
at this point guys i realized that um you know i was blending it and you can see the peel is not well uh will i say um uh, grinded something but uh I was too much in a haze and I didn't have the patience for all that. <laughs> okay. But you, 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 you can grind the peel for as long as you want to. You can grind into a finer texture, into a pure texture. Just do it as best as you want to. Okay. As you can see, when I pour it on the strainer, the sift, you can see it's not that uh, granulated per se. So you can grind it for as long as you want to. And another trick again, you can put the, rather than trying to sift the, strain the oil from the shaft, you can put the shaft with the oil in your pot to steam it together, okay? I didn't want to do that either. Like I said, I was so impatient, okay? For good reasons, for good reasons, trust me. So with this training now, I just use my spatula to press it on the strainer to get the oils out. And um, after the video, I actually used my chiffon material to squeeze more oils out of it. At the end of the day, when I finished the video, the total oil content I got was 600 ml. But remember, the original content uh, oil was uh, 700 ml. And... I add a 600 because I never, I hadn't used the cotton, uh, the chiffon material then. But later I did that after the video. So I got my 700 back. I even got more than 700 because, of course, there's oil in the pill, right? So, yeah, this is uh, what the oil looks like. Strained out from the pill. And I'm going to transfer that into my pot my heat is going to be put on a low 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 okay i'm going to put on a slow cooking heat turn my cooker to the lowest and um you can't let this boil please do not let it boil not boil with bubbles and all that no don't let it cook we're just trying to put a bit of steam and heat to make the liquid, the moisture in the peel evaporate. Because if we don't do that, we're going to end up having a serum. And uh, if we have a serum, then you have to put a uh, preservative. And the shelf life doesn't last, okay? It doesn't last. There's a way you can use this to make serum and, you know, incorporate and formulate. I will get that to that get to that in another video but for now let's just focus on the cooking of it so few minutes into uh heating my oil by the way the total time in which i heated this oil was just three minutes three minutes not more than it all you have is a window of one minute to four minutes not beyond that even in between the three minutes, I was taking the pot off the fire, let it cool for a bit, and I put it back. So it was a total of three minutes, total of three minutes. And you see it's separating. You see it's separating. The moisture is at the top, floating and separating. It becomes so, so obvious and easy to strain. By the way, there will still be some uh, remnants of moisture at the bottom, as you can see. That's dark uh, stuff you see there. And uh, the auto moisture from the top that is uh, floated at the top can even help the bottom moisture be sifted properly. So basically, it's just like self explanatory. And as a formulator, you know what to do from here. So <laughs> I'll leave you guys at it. I sifted and strained it for two three times and uh, at the end of the day i left the oil to cool down before i even started straining it and even uh, while i was straining it was still a bit warm and by the time i finished straining it i let it cool down totally when it cooled down totally i put some uh, few capsules i think about three capsules of vitamin e inside 
because vitamin E is very good as a preservative. I didn't want to put uh, my normal preservative because actually I don't need it, but I wanted my oil to last forever. <laughs> okay to last for as long as i have it available that's just it so with this it has a shelf life of more than one year trust me it does so i put three capsules of vitamin e for this quantity of oil and that's about it and my oil is ready turn it into your bottle and just enjoy the look of what you've made and be proud of yourself hey <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Please kindly subscribe if you're yet to subscribe because we're just in a season of the Esmas, right? We're getting into it. We're coming. Esmas is coming. But before it comes, let's prep our skin. I want to make my skin look fabulous to usher into the Esmas and the New Year. So with that, I'm going to be making my soap my cream my face cream my body oil my scrub and every other body skincare things i use and i'm going to be sharing it with you guys while i'm sharing it to you guys i'm also going to be making skincare products for dark chocolate skin as well so you have to subscribe to this channel else you're going to miss out and the only way not to miss out is to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that when I post these videos every week for dark skin, for chocolate skin, fair skin, anyone, and my own skincare products that I use, so that you won't miss out. And by December and New Year, you're looking fantabulous. Okay? <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for watching. Thank you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!